This is part of a series of videos to help users learn the UMPL model-oriented programming language. In this video, we focus on details of UMPL's notation for representing classes, associations, attributes, and generalizations textually. This example shows three classes. Person, here, manager, and employee. Note you see the same classes in the UML class diagram. Both manager and employee inherit from class person, and there is a one-to-many association between manager and employee. You see that here, one-to-many. As shown, the manager can manage many employees, and each employee is managed by exactly one manager. Notice how UMPL represents this one-to-many association. It textually, over here, UMPL uses the notation one dash dash star, representing the same thing as the UML association. The association in this case is represented within the manager class. Using UMPL, you can also declare the association in the employee class, in which case it would be many to one. Or, you can also declare the association by itself using the association keyword. In both UML and UMPL, you can define other multiplicities. For example, if the manager can manage at most nine employees, then the association can be defined as follows. We'll simply change this star to 0, dot, dot, 9. You'll notice it will also change over here in the UML class diagram. Noted in most systems, you would hesitate to limit the design like this. It's usually better to leave the upper bound of the multiplicity as star, so that if the customer changes the rules, you don't have to change the software. Now, let's make another change. If some employees may not have a manager, then you would replace the 1 with 0 to 1, like this. 0 dot dot 1. That says optional. Again, we will see the same change appear on the class diagram side. This ID is an attribute. UMPL declares attributes in a similar manner to Java. In this example, the attribute ID is defaulted to string type. We do see string appearing over here. If you want to change this to integer, you would simply do it like this. Integer. And now you will see that this will change over here to also say integer in the class diagram side. Notice that UMPL represents generalization using the notation isa, right here and right here. In our example, both manager and employee inherit from class person. The design shown in this example does not conform to the convention of the composite or general hierarchy pattern meaning that managers cannot themselves have managers. We leave it up to you as an exercise to make that change. In UMPL it is extremely simple, and the change can be made graphically on this side or textually. 